Now, we were all beginners once, and if that's where you are in mountain biking at the moment, let me help you out, because we're gonna go through some of the things we got wrong as GMBN presenters and creators, and we can learn from those mistakes. This is also a really good point in the video to like the video, think about leaving a comment later on, and of course, subscribe to GMBN. Right, let's start avoiding mistakes. First up is not knowing your limits. Of course, you're a new rider to mountain biking, you're just starting out, but you don't wanna push too far. Don't get carried away with experimentation because you're gonna try something that's beyond your limit. It might look cool, but it could break you and it could break your bike more expense. So what we need to do is make sure you avoid pushing it too far. Stay within your riding limits. I think the most important thing to avoid is the loss of confidence when you make those mistakes that were beyond your riding limit because that will compound and you won't progress as quickly. This one's really important, okay? Getting your bike set up right. But first off, let's maintain it, okay? Because when you're riding down these rough trails, your bike's gonna be rattling around and the bolts on the bike are gonna be coming loose. So we can start with the M check. Basically just go over your bike in an M shape and basically check the bolts are tight at the front wheel, up at the bars, down at the bottom bracket, up at the seat, down at the rear axle, um, and make sure the bike's running right. You can do that very regularly and that's gonna help you right away. Seat height is a really important one because you wanna have a really comfortable but also efficient pedaling position. So make sure you get that right. Um, you can go to a local bike shop and they can help you set that up if you're really unsure. There's lots of videos on GMBN all about setting your bike up, but we've got one, a really great one from Doddy where he really does go through in detail. So maybe check that out too. Another one that's really good to delve into deeper is suspension setup. Now this can be really intimidating when you're first coming into mountain biking. But again, we've got some brilliant videos on the channels, GMBN Tech and GMBN, where you can and really get into understanding how to set up your suspension, where to get that sag, what that means. There's a lot of detail there, but don't be too intimidated by it because once you get the basics, it's something you can do yourself and start to really enjoy and improve. Riding a bit stiff. Now, when you first start riding mountain bikes, it can all feel a bit scary, okay? And what you tend to do is tense up a bit and try and hold yourself away from the oncoming terrain, okay? Riding stiff isn't gonna help you on that terrain though because you want all of the forces to move through your bike and through your limbs, okay? So one way to get past that is ride in what we call the attack position, okay? Drop those heels down behind the pedals a little bit, bring your chest down towards the bars, let those arms bend like that and let the knees flex and then you're gonna be in a much more comfortable position to take in the energy of the trail coming towards you. We've definitely all done this one, overthinking, okay? Now, this one is a little bit of a seesaw with trying things that you're not ready for that I mentioned at the start of the video, okay? Because what you've got to do is once you have learned some skills and you are starting to get some confidence, you have got to sort of dance on that little line of can I, can't I, okay? Because that's how you're gonna progress. But you've got to build up the skill itself first. But once you have done that, and you think there's a line you can do, don't overthink it, because that might mean you don't try it. You might talk yourself out of it. A lot of times, once you've really got something ahead of you and you feel like you can do it, you've got to literally sometimes make that leap uh, and make it happen, because that's how your riding's gonna improve. Um, it's a difficult balance, but what it comes down to is having confidence in the skills you've learned. If you haven't learned any skills, don't start trying crazy things. Oh, I'm a hypocrite. I do this one all the time, crunching gears. Okay, try and time your shifting when you're out on the trail so there's not the maximum amount of force going through your chain as you're crunching your way up the cassette on the rear wheel. Because basically your chain's not gonna last, you could snap it and it could ruin your ride and it's gonna lessen the lifespan of your entire drivetrain. So really think about when and where you're shifting out on the trail because that's gonna make all that very expensive jewelry on your bike last a lot longer. I'm talking to myself here. 
Poor maintenance. Oh, is that you? Is it Nick? Yeah. Me, we've all, we all do a bit of it, but look, if your bike gets dirty, you've got to clean it. You've got to lubricate that drivetrain to make it last. If you're putting your bike down, don't put it down drive side. If you're traveling with it, protect it, get some packaging around it. Treat it with some love because it's gonna make it last. And it really will last if you do do that maintenance, but poor maintenance is gonna cost you a lot in terms of riding time and wallet. Well, there you go. It's a lot to think about. Lots to do with keeping your bike running smoothly, having it set up right, thinking about your riding position, all sorts of things. Overthinking stuff when you're out on the trail. But as I've mentioned a couple of times, there is absolutely tons of videos on GMBN specifically to help you with this stuff so you can progress in your mountain biking safely and on point and really progress with positivity. So get out there, get riding. Don't forget to like and subscribe to GMBN. Um, there's tons of videos. Can't wait to see your comments down below this video about how you're going to improve your mountain biking. And until next time, it's goodbye from me.